Okay, let's continue my comments. So your Nearpod presentation, you did a great job with embedding PowerPoint to the Nearpod here. However, inside of the presentation, there are some issues. Let's go through them. So here I see you are using different font sizes and make sure to align font sizes and let's say here you don't need to use exclamation mark. Um, before introducing this mind, uh, map, I would like you to describe or uh, to explain to the teacher or students what they're going to do with a mind map. Are they creating it? Are they, uh, is a teacher uh, explaining it? Or instead of giving a screenshot, you could give a link to the Nearpod, um, uh, to the mind map so students can see it uh, original and original size and for some reasons here you you are not using a powerpoint template it would be uh, it would look much um, professional if you use the same template same uh, powerpoint template so you can easily go to uh, nearpod uh, let's say it's your lesson let's say this one is your lesson so you go to edit and then uh, you click add slide, uh, no, actually you go to your PowerPoint, let's say this is my PowerPoint over here somewhere I have my PowerPoint, let's say hmm. so you just drag and drop and it's there, it's so fast, quick so you move that um, Where's that slide? I think I did, just did that. Um, no, it's processing. Let's see. So you move that uh, slide to appropriate place and it's going to be there. So, and then you sa save and go away. Or if you want to, let's say, save changes. If you want to add a link to the Nearpod slide, you just do it a little differently. You just go to add um, content and add slide and then click add web content. So you give a URL here. Instead of doing this, just give a copy and paste URL and add it there. So students can click in there and then go to the site. You can test it. So it will appear differently. Let's say this one. So let's see preview. And then it will ask us to go there. So your students can click and go there. Let's see. Uh, for some reasons it's taking you to your to Lindsay's website. Then that means it's a wrong link. So make sure bottom of the page will create account. This is a different site. This is a totally different link. So you did a um, mistake over here. Um, always check your links before posting them here. Edpuzzle looks like a correct link. Uh, so here, see be consistent. You're here using lowercase, you're uh, using a uppercase here. And then instead of giving a a compressed version of the picture image uh, send your students to the original um, picture chart take it to there and then your picture chart looks like more text based instead of image based let's see it in your website mm, yeah for the first graders it might be a little boring to look at this uh, texty picture chart they might want to use some other images but it depends um, on their skills so let's see what's next so you want to embed it as a, I showed you and then this one you can give it here but again uh, create in your PowerPoint add this to your PowerPoint directly and uh, add a link to the Nearpod then. So this is good, introduction is good, 
I may want to give little, um, make it a little bigger size in your PowerPoint, and then uh, at the end you have to explain what's going to happen next. Maybe you'll give some uh, homework or say thank you, uh, something that will finish your lesson. So you need to work on your um, presentation a bit. Other than that, it looks good. So don't use exclamations and stuff. Thanks.